What's up, guys? <laughs> Today, we're going to talk about the healthy food priority list. This is just your basic one. I don't know everybody's diet in the whole entire world. But there is a lot of information about the quality of food that you're receiving. So, some of these you might not have ever heard of. So, when you're picking food at the grocery store and you are on a budget, you're going to have to make prioritize what's important to you. When I'm picking food, I pick it up and is it a real food? Is it something that I can think directly where it came from? So any fruit or vegetable, it came out of the ground. If you do eat bread or rice or stuff like that, there still can be processed, but you can think mostly where it came from if or oats or things like that. I do not, but some people do. Um, so is it even a food that you can think of where it came from? So a Cheeto, I'm not sure if you can picture in your head where that comes from, but usually a factory, it's processed, it's a lot of ingredients mixed together. It's not something I can think, oh, this came from the ground and then maybe was cooked or roasted, so on and so forth. Um, is it a fruit or a vegetable? Usually that's okay. Um, if but then things like maybe if I have a few extra dollars to spend, I will go for the organic ones. Um, there's a big debate on whether that's important or not. So if it's important to you and you can afford it, then by all means go for it. But before that, a fruit and a vegetable is still more important to eat than a processed food. Um, and then you have meat and eggs and stuff like that. Um, is it just the plain egg? Is it just meat? Is it not a processed meat. So this isn't things like salami and like canned meats and stuff like that. Um, this is just the actual like hamburger meat at the store or lean meat, things like that, and eggs. And then we move on to the next, is it ethically sourced? Is it cage free? Is it humanely raised? Is it grass fed? Things like that. If we can't afford these things, then I, t I tend to lean more towards just buying eggs and what I can afford ethically, like chickens, pretty affordable, free range, whereas red meats aren't going to be as affordable. Then snacks and nuts and seeds. I personally do not buy a lot of nuts and seeds, but if you can afford them because they are expensive, you want to check to see if they are also processed, salted, flavored, so that's your typical snack pack of almonds are going to have a lot of salt and seasonings on them um, so they're not going to be as healthy as the actual raw nut and seed would be. But the takeaway from all this is these should be your first priority. Is it a real food? Is it a fruit and vegetable? Is it a lean meat, eggs, things like that, a healthy fat? Or is it a nut and seed? Period. Um, then by all means, if you have a full understanding and you can afford these other things, then those should be a secondary choice because I think when we look at this all at once, it's far too overwhelming and then people lean towards just eating something that's out of a package because it's affordable, they don't need to read the label because they already know it's bad for them, and I think that is a big problem. So these are what you should look for when you are shopping for groceries.